Hello everybody, welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. And we right here, we finally got the information for Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku, Kaioken. So let's check it right out. I got the things that I guessed earlier more or less correct. I feel like, uh, obviously I got some things wrong. Of, co of course I wouldn't be able to correctly guess the unit. But I got like a more or less example of what he would be. I kind of expected it. He turned out different than I thought. He's actually very similar to Blue Kaioken. Uh, the AGL one, but I feel like he's much better than him. So this guy's gonna be really really good Let's uh, <laughs> let's just look at his details. So as you see right here. He has Almost 18,000 attack when he's gonna be rainbowed Because since he's STR he gets 5,400 attack buff so and the potential system so because of that 12,000 plus the 5,000 would be uh, 17 and then the extra 400 on top of that 490 would be 17,890, which is very, very close to um, 18,000. It's basically, it's 18,000, honestly. Because that 110 is like, it's a little bit of a deal. I feel like it's a deal, but like, it's not like super, super big. He basically has 18K. And you see right there, he does have Kalkin in his name. His defense is 10,400, uh, which is pretty nice. And his HP is around, I don't know, like 16,000 or so around there um so this guy has really good stats for a tur he also has the highest uh stat like attack stat in the game for a tur as well uh because uh i think str gogeta comes in second but not easy a of course this is not so like str gogeta before he's easy a he comes in second around like 17,600 or so so this guy's a very high attack stat and as you see right there already he greatly raises attack on his super attack so he's gonna be hitting very 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 hard um, this guy, he also has a ton of attack weak, so let's just move on to it. Um, his leader skill is exactly what I thought earlier in my video that I uploaded before, like earlier today actually. Um, representatives of Universe 7 or Universe Survival Saga category, key plus 3, HP plus 130%, and attack and defense plus 170%. So, I feel like that was pretty obvious to guess. I didn't really think he was going to lead a new category, because he was already confirmed to lead Universe Survival Saga, and because of his wanting to use the representatives of universe 7 category which there are some units that are on there and not universe uh, survival saga i feel like because of that that was basically made it a shoe in for his leader skill and i gave him this leader skills because honestly it's probably the best one to have and i feel like um since he's attack based he would definitely have a 170 percent and i feel like uh he would definitely get that defense as well because well um They've been doing a lot, like, of uh, attacking defense 170% and HP 130% recently. Yeah, let's uh, move on right here to his passive skill, which is a little bit similar to what I thought in mind. Um, you'll see what I mean right here. So, attacking defense plus 59%, plus an additional 10% attacking defense, which each attack received, up to 59%. So, that actually calculates against each other. So, it's that 59% and then activates the links on top of that and stuff. And then it's the other 59% because it's after like the turn started. That's it's gonna cause him to hit really harder. Like this guy is gonna be hitting insanely hard. Like don't underestimate how hard. Like I can see this guy starting off battles. Like if like after this guy like gets hit when he needs to, he could like. This guy is like very similar to Blue Cow Can as well. Except he's better than Blue Kalkin, because Blue Kalkin gets that 59 at the starter turn, while this guy gets it permanently for, um, the, for like, uh, a multiplication to get itself. So Blue Kalkin is the same, with 59% attack and defense, and then he gets 59% additional for 10 turns. But this guy gets his permanently, and it's a multiplicative multiplication buff. Plus his greatly raising attack, plus his 18,000 attack stat. So... This guy is going to be hitting insane numbers. I could literally see him starting off like after he hits 5 hits like over 2 million easy. Like no, not even joke like 2.5 million maybe around there. Because of the sheer attack links he has as well. So and if we move on he gets an additional 59% and then he gets attacks effective against all types. When performing a super attack if HP is 59% or less once only. So that coincides directly with his um, active skill. Which, uh, as we knew already knew, it uh, also raises allies attack back when it also raises. What am I? I'm messing up. It also raises allies attack by another thirty percent, which works just like B Pan's active skill. It should because of how it's calculated. 
so that's gonna make him hit even harder with his active skill. And then after that, if the enemy even survives, he's gonna have that 30% on top of that extra 59% for the turn and effective against all types. Plus everything else, um, this guy is actually insane. <laughs> like, it's crazy to see it, like, think about like how insane he really is, like how hard he's gonna hit. It's stupid because of that. So it, it's like, and then his super attack after that will be effective against all types. I don't think his active skill, his active skill could be uh, um, against all types like that, but I don't think it is, but it could be. Uh, we'll see when it happens because it does say super attack. So I don't know. Um, Man, this guy's gonna be super, super good. <laughs> So as you see right here, he has godly power, which is weird because no blue cow can Goku has ever had godly power, but you'll see why. Um, it's kind of a shaft, a little bit. Warrior gods, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Tournament power, over in a flash, and first battle. So like I thought earlier, they did remove prepare for battle for him. I still gave him prepare for battle in my uh, video, but they took it off from him because it makes sense. They took off shocking speed from 13 and cooler. They took off prepare for battle from it future go on. It would only makes sense that they would take off prepared to battle for him just because he's like a he, he's an insane unit so to balance that out they they've kind of been messing up with key links recently but the thing that sucks is that i believe cooler 13 and the future gone still give key on their passive as well yes i'm pretty sure they give key on their passive as well this goku does not support others he's like more offensively based as you can see so but the thing is, he still has over in a flash and tournament power, which is very good for the teams he's going to be on. It sucks that he does not have shocking speed. <sighs> like, prepare to battle does hurt him on some teams, though. Like, you can't even fret about that. It does really hurt him. It restricts who he can be with. But most of the time, he's going to be with, like, godly power units, which usually have over in a flash. Or, um, like, usually godly power units do have over in a flash. Or, and the, or like, warrior god units, like... This guy's gonna be incredible linking with, um, like, think of probably like the God Goku's. He's gonna link better with them than he would with Blue Cow Ken, because the God Goku's will have Aura and Flash, and then Godly Power and Warrior God and Super Saiyan. Plus, come on, how link as well. Um, Blue Cow Ken does not have Godly Power. I did not expect him to give him that. That's really weird. I would have preferred to give him Shocking Speed, but at the same time, that's just another good key link that they would give him. It's better than nothing though. It's better than getting like some random dead link like or like all in the family, they could have given them that. Or like same lineage or something, you know? I mean, all in the family is not a bad link, but like it's definitely not as good as an attack link, honestly. The best links are attack links, in my opinion. Though key links are very helpful as well. Key links are probably the second best. I don't know. That's a whole nother discussion, I guess. But let's move on. Um so that's basically what he does. He's gonna be hitting super super hard. His categories, as you see, represented as Universe 7, Universe Rev Saga, Roma Gods, Pure Saints. They didn't show us all of his categories, which is weird. Um we know his active skill already. So Yeah, then he does greatly raising attack right here. Uh I don't know why they didn't show us all of his categories, but it's pretty obvious what categories he's gonna be on anyways. The only Thing I don't fully like is that this guy is gonna start off a little weak defensively at this like at the start of turn so like and you do want him to get hit so in super battle row he's gonna be still amazing but only starting off with 59% does hurt him in super battle row because he has around 10k defense but that that's around like an average for like TURs and stuff but only starting off with the 59% boost um I don't know about that one, honestly, because he's going to hit, get hit, like, after he takes, like, what, five attacks? No, it's six attacks. After he takes, like, six attacks, he's going to be, like, guarding well, but, um, he's still going to get hit, like, hard for, like, the first attack. And there's been, like, plenty of times Super Battle Road, and everyone knows this, where he just gets super at the first attack, and then that's going to be very bad for this guy, honestly. Um... He has an offensive based unit, so that's clear. I feel like mm, I would have liked it better if he maybe got had like 
But at the same time, it would have been broken if they gave him like a medium chance to dodge or something. But it would have been, it wouldn't have been too bad. Um, I just like, I like, I like this unit a lot. Like, I really do like him. But I just don't think he's as good as in Future Gohan or SDR Cooler, honestly. Um, definitely not SDR Cooler. I think <sighs> he might be better than Age Ultra Chain. Age Ultra Chain is insane defensively as well, though. Like, on the Android team, he fits beautifully. This guy's gonna fit really well on his teams, but not having prepared for battle hurts a lot more than not having shocking speed when 13 also has fear and faith. And he gets two key to Android side Android category allies. Um, this guy does not give a support buff as well. And I feel like the support buff would probably generate more attack than it would than him getting that multiplication boost. But everything else may, uh, will probably like make him, he's gonna hit really hard still. I just feel like, um, Defensively, he is a little weak. Um, like, until you get all of his attacks built up. Like, people are going crazy at how hard he's going to be hitting. And I agree, like, it's going to be lovely to see him let, like, easily, like, 4 million attack stats, you know? <sighs> I just feel like, um, unlike with 13, Gohan, and Esther Cooler, they did hold back in defense, which makes sense. I didn't expect him to be as good as them, if I'm being really honest, because they're the brand new Dokkan Fest and JP. And this guy's still global, which global is still like a few months behind. So I feel like I can see why they didn't make him as good defensively as those ones, or they didn't make him a support unit. But I feel like um, this guy maybe like needs a little more defense. Like he's gonna be hitting super hard, one shotting enemies and everything. <sighs> it's just that I have to see him in game, honestly, at free dupe and rainbow. I have to see him in the actual game and how he performs and how his attacks at even that actually looks but right now i'm like i'm a little on the fence with him i guess you could say i like i'm not calling him bad or anything he's amazing he's incredible he's definitely like a top tier to you are like no doubt about that i just feel like you know i basically what i've been saying you know defensively he is a little weak at the start of turn which can hurt in like in you know, like the legendary goku event he'll be fine because the physical goku is the first enemy um and at least his passive doesn't run like Blue Kyle can. But if we're seeing like, this guy doesn't have like easy defense or anything. His defense is only like, like his defense is basically like neutral. Um, it's not good. It's not bad. It's kind of like in the middle compared to other two wars. And he only starts at fifty nine percent. Um, yeah. I mean, that that's the only thing about the Shuna that I could see. That's kind of yikes. But if they made him any better defensively, then he would be broken, honestly. Um, he'd be way more broken. But if you think about the sheer attack that he's going to be putting out, that off-balances it a little. Um, I don't know. I have, to, I have to see him in game before I fully judge him. But right now, I feel like... I feel like SDR Cooler, AJO 13, Int Future Gohan, Tech Owner Frieza, AJO Super Vegito, Int Junaba, I feel like they're all better than him. Um, I'm trying to think of the units that came out recently. I feel like DBS Trunks might be better than him. No, he probably is better than DBS Trunks, honestly. I think he is better than Dragon Ball Super Trunks. In some situations, of course. I don't know. I have to see this guy. Um, I feel like he is definitely probably better than some LRs though. Like LR Broly, I feel like he's better than Golten and Trunks. You know, all the lower tier LRs, I feel like he is better than them. His leader skill is also incredible, of course. Like his that the Universe Survival Saga team is insanely good. And then Representatives of Universe 7 is also very good. We'll see though. I mean especially a 130% defense seems like I'm glad his leader skill is 170% defense. If it was 130% defense, then like that would be very, very troubling. Um even like just start a turn 100% defense. Sometimes that's not even good enough on like a 130% defense team to like fully tank a super battle road. This guy, um, I don't know. <laughs> He's like insane, honestly. He's still insane. He's still very good. I'm glad Global got this unit. Um, Global does deserve a good unit like this. But that's it for this video. That's all my thoughts on him, honestly. Um, comment down below what you guys feel like. So yeah, anyway, other than that, I guess that's it, and I'll see you all next time.